Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Tara with Mayhem Crafty Cards. In today's video, I have a quick and easy uh, thanksgiving -y, <laughs> I guess if that's a word, um, video to share with you guys. So, what I'm using is the Rabbit Hole Designs new pinwheel stencil and three Distress Oxides, which are Mustard Seed, um, Crackling Campfire, which is beautiful by the way, um, and Gather Twigs. So I wanted this to seem like, you know, those crunchy fall leaves. So I took the um, mustard seed and put it right in the middle because I wanted that to be my spotlight. And then I just went around with the crackling campfire around the rest of the edges. Um, I wanted to keep the center light because I knew that's where I wanted to put my little turkey. So I'm using the cottontail blending brushes, which are my favorite. I've not used another blending brush since I've gotten these. Um, and they're affordable, which is great because I hate spending money on 10,000 brushes <laughs> when I can buy other things. So I'm gonna take this little bit of the gather twigs and I'm gonna take it around the edges. And I just wanted to deepen it up a little bit. Hindsight, I should have used maybe vintage photo, something a little bit more um, warmer than cooler, but it turned out great. I still love how it turned out. Um, and I did spray my um, stencil with pixie spray because if not, then my stencils are all over the place. So I'm just going to go back through and, you know, blend everything back together. And here comes the peel. Oh, nope, not yet. Oh, I did brighten up the um, crackling campfire just a little bit because that gathered twigs dulled it out some. So now you're going to see the peel and reveal, which is everybody's favorite part. I know it's mine. So that is the new pinwheel stencil, which is fantastic. I love it. Um, now, I did color my turkey off screen because I'm using my new Ohuhu brush markers and I'm still getting used to them. So I couldn't find my acetate, so I just grabbed the packaging to my stencil and just laid down, you know, the, the mustard seed, crackling campfire, and gather twigs because I wanted to add a little bit of splatter to give it some texture. And now I've noticed that I <laughs> my camera shifted. Sorry about that, guys. So it took me a minute to realize, like, I needed my other... I need another brush to do the splatter. And it's it's very subtle, but it adds just enough texture to the card to where it's not just I don't know, just not just flat because I'm just going to I'm going to adhere this to a brown um cardstock. And I didn't want to choose black. I didn't want to choose red. I just wanted to keep those nice fall colors. So I did add a little bit of shimmer um with just a little mix of shimmer spray. And then for my sentiment, what I did was I took that same brown cardstock and I'm going to white heat emboss, thankful for leftovers because it's Thanksgiving and everybody loves those leftovers the next day or <laughs> the next couple days. But yeah, I just white heat embossed this um, on that brown cardstock and it came out so nice. I really love how it came out on that brown. I don't typically use brown cardstock. Um, but I felt for this card, it was, you know, just the right color and it's pretty simple and easy. I mean, this card literally took me no time at all to make. So I'm just going to go ahead and heat and boss that. And I am going to pop up my turkey. I felt like he, I feel like my card needed just a little bit more dimension than what it was. Um, just be, it was just too, I guess, too plain for me, <laughs> even though there's a lot going on. It just seemed a little, it needed something. So it takes me forever to figure out where I want my sentiment. And this is real life crafting. <laughs> I didn't take this out. I, I was going to, but you know, this is just how my process works. So I didn't like how long that sentiment was. And I realized at that point that it was crooked. So I just cut it down and I'm going to have my little turkey stand on the back of it. So for my stenciled cardstock I did take off about a quarter of an inch because I just wanted a little bit of that brown showing through I don't know I think it just you know gave the card that little pop that it needed so I did use some bone squares for my turkey and I'm just again trying to line up that sentiment and realizing that it's crooked <laughs> but that's handmade I mean it's going to be crooked so I wanted to add a little bit more bling. So I grabbed some sparkle blends and I grabbed the Give Thanks um, set. Now you'll see another real life crafting problem. My little tool did not want to 
pick up any of my gems and it was driving me nuts. And you can see I'm kind of getting frustrated. So I finally found the other one that, you know, I do use that. I mean, that does pick up and I just grabbed it, grabbed some, you know, orangey, yellow, um, orangey, yellow, gold, and brown sequins to add to my card, which I think it just, again, it added that little bit of texture and a little bit of pop that I was looking for. So yeah, these are the Sparkle Blends Give Thanks Mix, and I believe it's from the last um, release. So now I'm just going to show you guys an up close of my card. And yeah, that's about it. I am um, on the Rabbit Holes blog today, so I will leave everything listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the likes, all the subscriptions. I mean, you guys are fantastic. So until next time, guys, bye.